hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel um so today i'm gonna do a little kind of i guess journal with me um i'm gonna write a little bit in my kimboard um i do need to do something for the monthlies because i did nothing for november which is fine um i don't know if i'm gonna do anything for december either but um yeah this is this week in my kimbor um my five weekly kimbor and i'm almost done with this can you believe it? it's like must be december um i can't <laughs> and i am ready for it to be over already i just uh, december december has even started and i want it to be over um but i do want to talk about this as well so i ordered um a b6 cover for um, my journal um as you know i made my black traveler's notebook cover using the leather from michael's um this is the only one i found on amazon that was like a decent price and with it being like black friday and then cyber monday deals this was on sale for like 22.99 originally it's like almost 30 dollars but i thought it was a really good deal and so i got it um i guess i'm glad i waited you know saved a few bucks but i do have covers in this leather um i have a standard size and an a5 size i think the brand oh right here um september leather i believe and so yeah they're on amazon um i know by the time i upload this the deals are probably gonna be over but um this is still a really good deal otherwise it only being thirty dollars um especially for a b6 size cover uh anyways i think they did change the leather a little bit because this leather is a lot different than the other two covers that i have um my standard size cover my daughter scribbled all over the front cover so i had to like switch it around but honestly sometimes you, can, you can't really tell um when you switch it around only the pin loop like gets that away but anyways so they made a b6 size cover and i was so happy to even see um a b6 b6 size traveler's notebook on amazon um and i waited and waited and then i ended up making my own cover and i realized i do love the b6 size and then i recently cut down my Kimbor A5 dailies. Um, there were 2023 that I got from AliExpress that I planned on using for next year as like my dailies um, for the first first like six months or so. Um, I did end up buying another set of those. Um, they were 2023 still, but they were on sale because AliExpress was having a sale, and I wanted to see what it's like to like journal. Um, on the Kimbor pages, like, I kind of journal here, um, in the weeklies, just a little bit. I don't really get much space to journal. Um, I do get these back pages here as well, um, that I've added some stuff to, but I wanted, like, a completely separate, you know, notebook, and I didn't want the a5 size i wanted the b6 size and so i cut it down it's you know not the greatest but i mean i really don't care it's not like i paid a lot of money for it and like i said i mean you know i don't really mind um so i cut it down i clipped most of the monthlies but i did do november and december i don't know how i like how i did this i don't know if this even looks this might look crazy um but since i cut off sunday or like most of sunday um i had to make saturday saturday and sunday so you know it worked fine you know november is almost over 
um and then december i just like white it out i plan to do that um i did do another monthly between i don't know if you can see that i think you can and it didn't come out right so i ended up just using these and just you know and so i haven't started it yet i want to um I don't plan to do the one page a day each thing. If I do like five pages a day, then I do five pages a day. If I do, you know, one day a page, and I do w one day a page, right? I don't know. Um, my brain just, um, I don't know. Anyways, I don't know if you can tell, but I started getting sick yesterday. Mainly just like my sinuses, my nose. My head has been hurting a little bit, my throat, I've been coughing a little bit. Um, my daughter also has a runny nose. And and so, yeah, that's so much fun. Um, definitely not fun. Uh, so that's why I'm, you know, I apologize. I, I apologize if I'm sniffling too much or, you know, but anyways. Um, so yeah, that's what I plan to do. I'm not even going to go based off the dates. This is for like six months, you know, but I don't really care. Um, I'm not going to use it um, doing like the one day a page type thing. I'm just going to like, like I said, use it as like a regular journal, commonplace, you know, whatever. Just to write stuff down. And that's really how that's gonna be i just have it tucked back here for now i did have it in the strings but i didn't want it to like pull on the paper and mess it up um because i've had this cover or not this cover this um the weekly in a cover before and like it's like kind of like ripped it a little bit let's see if i can find that page right there I didn't like rip it but like I don't know like the binding it started messing up so I just didn't I took it out the traveler's notebook but yeah so that's what that is and then I just have this insert in here with the same stuff just have a bunch of pictures and stuff there and then I get some more pockets here to put some stuff back there that stick out so I know it's back there I also want to drink this um so I got this matcha flavor bubble milk tea for my local grocery store and I want to drink it um I haven't tried this flavor. I've tried the the brown sugar flavor and there's another flavor that I tried. And they were good. I like the brown sugar one. I haven't tried the matcha and it's actually actually pretty good. But anyways. So that's what this is. I plan to start using this soon. Um, I just, I don't know, um, I got sick and so I didn't have much energy to start it. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited. I already got some scratches on the cover thanks to my daughter. But I love this size. Um, and this cover is really nice and good quality for the price. Like even like, even if there wasn't a sale, I eventually was going to buy it. Um, so really good deal and i really love this i need to get started with this because i want to use my little like these images that i got from or images that i have from the little calendars that i bought um because those were on sale as well okay so this actually fits in here like if i really wanted to 
it could fit in here. It looks a little crazy because it's a little taller, as you can see, but it could fit in here. So I don't know how crazy that would look. Maybe very crazy if I had all this in one cover. That would look probably crazy. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. But if I wanted to, like, just have it in here with all my other stuff, I totally could. Just boom. Like, even it out a little bit. Um, so, yeah, it's like the width of an B6, but it's taller. That's it. It's like the width of a B6, but taller. I'm really excited to start this. I'm really, really, really excited. I can't wait to start this already. Um, I do love my A5 2023 weekly. I'm kind of sad that I have to like put this away soon because like I love how filled in it is. Like you can see all the fluffiness and all the pages, and I just love doing that. I just love doing that. Just in the side of the paper and just looking at all the colors and just all the writing and like how different my style has like changed like if you went to the in January um well honestly um I didn't get this planner until March so this was me like back planning um, so January and February we're like just back planning and I used watercolor at the time as you can see um, so this is the week that I got the A5 Kimbo as you can see um, I really tried <laughs> um, and then I stopped using it but I back planned these past few weeks um, very minimal it's just writing it to just Put stuff down and i really didn't write that much in my moleskin weekly as much as i thought i did so that's why a lot of this is just very just like i don't know not as much writing and stuff um i still got end of april may june I did write a little bit in June. This is when we had the power outage and we had power. We were without, uh, we were without powder, powder? <laughs> we were without power for like four days, like legit. Father's Day night is when we had this big storm and like it was just very windy. There wasn't even a tornado um, and it knocked like over 100,000 people's power out. It was so freaking crazy here in Oklahoma and that was so rough like oh my gosh i can't even like we didn't have power it was hot i had a toddler she didn't nap like at all and we hardly slept it was like crazy so and then my baby's birthday her second birthday june 29th i'm in then july so yeah and then here's august when i started coming back in here more consistently um just because like i realized i really love the vertical planning like vertical layout a little bit more like for like i don't know but i really love these pages I just I got used to the A5 size so I don't know how it's gonna be to like move into here and like use the weeklies here because just look at it it's like look at the size difference um, so yeah and then you get back pages um, like blank pages back here and I have pen test I have done some dailies in here For like post-it notes like um, notes about stuff and 
um i put like my 2024 lineup just like um i'm really excited because like i never really sat down and was like what am i gonna use next year um so i i should make a separate video on like my lineup but I think I kind of am set on what I'm gonna do. Obviously, I'm gonna use this. Um, and then, um, and then obviously I plan to use this. I wanna start this now and probably still continue it in the next year, you know, because I'm, I am gonna have my Kimbor dailies but that's like a day a page you know and I'm gonna want more than that because there's some times where I want to journal and I want to write more or like add more ephemera pieces um so this will this is what that book is gonna be um but like right now I'm not you know I'm waiting to start those dailies until January 1st plus I did cut down um the first half of the year notebook here this is this notebook here um so i did order some from aliexpress they're supposed to be here next week which i'm really excited about but i'm not going to use those until um next year like one day a page um type thing but yeah that's that's the brief you know talk about that i'm using my kimboard 2024 weekly i'm going to be using um a kimboard daily um a VEC, I think that's kind of what that's what the Hobonichi is, or one of the Hobonichis. There's a Hobonichi Avec, and it's like first half of the year in one book, and the second half of the year in, the, in another book. I might be wrong, I don't know. I don't own anything Hobonichi, I don't have um, no Hobonichi notebooks. Okay, I did just order a Hobonichi Weeks, it's 2023, but it was on sale for $12.50 for the Cyber Monday deal, and I've never owned anything hobonichi and so i'm really excited for that to come it comes tomorrow so i might film a video on that anyways so now my brain just i forgot what i was talking um so yeah this 2024 weekly and i'm using uh, a5 daily for the one day a page um and two books for the year um and then my B6 because I can't let go of my B6. I love this size and I love the Kimbor paper. And so now that I have a B6 notebook and the Kim with the Kimbor paper, it's just like, oh, I'm so excited. Um, I just wanna like start filling it up and start writing in it. Cause I just love flipping through the paper when it's like filled up. Just how here, as you can see, it's like super fluffed and I just love it. So, so yeah, so I think that's what today's gonna video is gonna be. I'm gonna just just be a little chatty, um, just chat about my 2024 lineup briefly. Talk about that, not like um, I might do a separate video for that when my actual other set of notebooks come in from AliExpress. Um, since I already cut this down, I don't want to really talk about that. Um, if I don't have both of the books, I'm trying to like explain it, I guess. But yeah, I did have a little page back here on that, and then some camera pieces. But that's all I really gonna talk about. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye